I think for myself, one of the most exciting sights for me during this week is when the Irish and American flags go up. One Irish, one American, one Irish, one American. And now it's even more important because of having that sister city. That's something we've been working on for many years and now we are sister cities with Killaloo, Ireland. It's just awesome, it's amazing, Melissa. It certainly is. I want to give credit to a former Shamrock Club member, Dave Sarna of Manawa, is the one who came up with the original idea of looking for a sister city. And a lot of us have worked on it on and off for about 10 years. And this year, the treaty got signed. Finally, it became reality. So we're happy, we're happy it did. Leah and I, and Randy, and Leah's mother, Judy, my daughter, Makushla, all had the pleasure of going to our sister city before it was our sister city. And we got to spend a few days with our friend Tony O'Brien. He, he gave us such a tour, didn't he? He's from Killaloo, and he has been a big part of the sister city planning as well. So hats off to Tony. Well, here comes the very first entry in the parade, and it's the New Dublin Police Department. Our chief of police, Chief Schlitter, is in the car, driving. He's giving us a big wave, Melissa. And behind him are the AMVETS Post 45. The color guard is made up of the AMVETS from all branches of service. Hi guys, thanks for being with us. Oh, that old bell reminds me of the old, the wonderful old fire truck. New Dublin Fire Department. It's nice to have one of our old fire trucks leading, leading the new fire truck. It sure is. We are very fortunate to have several fire trucks available, not only for New London, but surrounding communities. Hey, hi kids! Firefighters, children. They look nice and warm in that fire truck. They do. Get paid. 
Thank you everyone for donating. Every little bit counts. Thank you, first responders. All that noise, Leah. Next up, we have the Hortonville Hortonia Fire Department, and they are having their 150th anniversary on May 20th. Wow, 150 years! So Saturday, May 20th, at the Hortonville Fire Hall. They have a fire truck a cornhole tourney, and a meat raffle, and live music from 5 until midnight. Sounds like maybe we should go, Leah. Sounds like it's going to be a good time. Here's their second truck. <laughs> and like the first responders, Hortonville, Hortonia, would like you to know that they benefit greatly from donations. Thank you, Kayla. Next up, we have the Wild Ringer Fire Department. They say we are proudly staffed by dedicated local volunteers and are always looking for good people to join the ranks. Well, it sounds like that holds true in all of the entries we've seen so far. So all of you people out there, think about volunteering your time. Think about becoming one of the first responders or a volunteer for your fire department. Wow, who's coming up next? It looks like St. Patrick, Lincoln Barrington. Oh, I think he must be a relative. I'm thinking so. Thank you, Lincoln. Looking good. And behind him, we have our big piper, Jesse Murphy. Jesse comes all the way from Iowa, and he's the grand... Indiana, sorry, Melissa. Indiana, and he's the grandson of Gerald Murphy. Thank you, Jesse. Gerald was instrumental in getting our club up and running. He was one of the seven men and myself who met in the upper room at Midtown for many, many weeks that year to start this wonderful parade, the program, and all of the events that take place. And here we have our Grand Marshal, Father John Malarkey. The car is driven by Jennifer Gerges Ng, Father Malarkey. Thanks for driving your beautiful car. Next up, we have our Irish man and Irish rose, Steve and Joan Maliette. The car driven by Nancy Gagno, her daughter, and grandson, Trey. Oh, nice family driving the car. Joan and Steve have been active in the Shamrock Club before we even called it the Shamrock Club. They've been part of the club since the get-go and uh, have helped us very much. They've had a very good week. We've gotten to have a few shenanigans with them this week. Not just this week. <laughs> That, that Steve, oh, week. Steve O'Malley had is always shenaniganing. And they were very helpful this week and always are with setting up the tent and painting shamrocks and they've helped tremendously for many, many years. Including caroling, which is an important part of our week. Caroling the Irish songs to our friends who are in 
facilities where they cannot get out. For the first time in three years, we were able to sing to them, and Joan and Steve were a big part of that. Thank you. Thank you, Joan and Steve, for your dedication to the club. Wow, look at this big float. I wonder who is on that. It's our Shamrock Club float. We have the mayor of New Dublin, Mark Herter. Hey, Mark. The 2022 Irish man and Irish Rose. Oh, how nice. They get two years in a row. Lamar and Jane Wilson. And parade judges, Christine Cross and Debbie Campbells. We have our 2022 scholarship recipients, Bailey Paulson, Owen Batten, and Sawyer Quigg. And behind them, we have our lad and lassie, Evan Stern and Kenzie Hoagland. Kenzie and Evan won the title of Irish Lad and Irish Lass by writing the winning poem. And the poems, every year, the contest is open to fourth, fifth, and sixth graders from the New London School District and area surroundings. Everyone is welcome to write a poem that honors the Irish, no matter what your nationality is. And their poems this year had a lot to do with our, our sister city, Killaloo, which, yeah. which was very special this year. So we really, really appreciate that from uh, Evan and Kenzie. We certainly do. Why, Joan, look across to the Wolf River, which is open this year. Look at those sparkles. It reminds me of a river that we were privileged to see some years ago in Killaloo. Absolutely. It looks a lot like the river of Killaloo. The River Shannon. Oh, I hear something. My wild Irish rose. It's the New London High School Marching Band, and nothing comes free in this program, in this parade. This was paid for by the New London First State Bank. Thank them very much. Now let's sit back and listen. Club. They would like to thank all of the landowners, their sponsors, and volunteers for all their support over the past 53 years. Wow, that's a long time. I know we, some of the snowmobile owners are disappointed we didn't have much snow this year, but uh, there's always next year. And the, the Members spend a lot of their energy grooming trails and making things safe. Oh, well, this next float is a personal interest to me, Hinsky Well Drilling. This was founded in 1896. You know, Leah, that's 127 years ago. Wow, that's hard to believe that they were founded that many years ago. And this is a fifth generation family owned and operated. It is. So that's pretty awesome. It is. 
And we had fun going to Jamaica with some of the Hinskis this year, including my classmate, Sharon Hinsky was among the group. There's, there's Jay. They have been in our parade since the get-go. Thank you very much. Hinsky well drilling. Ooh. Next up, we have the lovely Kinsella Irish Dance Academy. Oh, nice. So glad that they are here. They performed at our program the other night, and they, they are a pretty amazing group of, of kids. They sure are. And I think I got more compliments on their dancing than any other single act in our program. We absolutely did. Thanks for being here. Thank you. They have two kinds of shoes that they wore in the program. The lighter shoes that lace up, and then the clogs that make a whole lot of noise. There, they're stopping the dance. Bridget Kinsella is leading, leading the weekend. Here she is. She and her husband are the owners of this school. They have chapters in Appleton and Milwaukee. Thanks again for being in our show the other night. And they say, Happy St. Patrick's Day, New Dublin. Happy St. Patrick's Day, Kinsella dancers. Thank you again for your dedication. Next up, we have the Scarlet Guard, American Legion Color Guard. This color guard represents the whole American Legion family including American Legion posts, American Legion auxiliary units, and sons of the American Legion squadrons. Thank you for being in our parade. We're going to demonstrate their marching now. Let's, let's stand as we see the parade at the American flag being carried by. Thank you for being in our parade. Oh, what's this? DQ, what does that stand for? Dairy Queen, yum yum. Mm. Never too cold for Dairy Queen, is it, Melissa? <laughs> no, especially if they have a hot dog. <laughs> and they do. They have a hot dog meal for a special price of $5 during the parade day. Yum, yum. So head on down to Dairy Queen. It's only a couple blocks from here. Here comes the big whopper. New London Fish and Game Club. They're in not for profit since 1939. Wow, I didn't know that long. And what do they do? They offer trap, skeet, and 3D archery leagues. Wonderful. So uh, just look up the New London Fish and Game Club if you'd like to be involved. Their Big Whopper Weekend is coming up. April 14, 15, 16. And Carew Golf Cars just went right by us, serving the Fox Valley and surrounding areas since 1991. Now we have two politicians walking through the parade, John Heidemann and Chris Martinson. We vote to invest in our kids. It looks like they have some family members with them. The side of their car says, Auto Tech is back. Next up, 
we have the Wolf River Art League. The Wolf River Art League is an eclectic group of artists and art lovers of all ages. The, Wolf, the Art League has done some amazing murals throughout town and are planning a sculpture park soon. Wow, look at that wolf. This is made of Christmas tree trunks. Talk about good use of something that would be destroyed. And it was made by Casey Early Krieger, who is a member of the Art League. Casey does ice sculptures and wood sculptures. He does a great job. Graveyard Auto and Towing. 24-hour towing service in New London, Wapaka, and Outagamie counties. Next up, we have the O'Neill family. Oh, the O'Neills! You gotta love the O'Neills. The O'Neill family has been in New Dublin Parade right. from the start. Yes, they have. They are honored oh. to play. Try again, Jerry. <laughs> they have two Irishmen yes. in their family, Lester O'Neill and Jerome O'Neill. Which O'Neill is this? It's Carl. Carl. <laughs> to celebrate their Irish heritage, they enjoy being in the parade and seeing the loud, large crowds. Thank you, O'Neills. Total Fitness. The London Total Fitness has great rates, lots of options, personal training, boot camps, and wrestling club. Give them a call if you want to get fit. Next up, we have Fox Valley Trailer Sales. Fox Valley Trailer Sales, locally owned trailer outlet. And the only contracted dealer servicing Wisconsin and Minnesota at wholesale prices. Clintonville Total Fitness. Clintonville Total Fitness is in the old shop go building. Well, that was a good use for the old building. They have personal training and boot camps. And we have Ort Trucking. Ort Trucking has been in our parade many years. I see they've got a few shamrocks on the side. Hi, guys. Another orange I know Randy uses one of their flatbeds every year as a stage for his Thank you for trucking. Our trucking helped us to bring some of the paid entertainment that's in the parade. And two of those things will be coming up shortly. Here's one of them. T.J. Howell's Rocket Cycle. Oh, oh, oh boy. Leah, I couldn't do that. I wouldn't want to even see you try to do that, Melissa. <laughs> you were worried about me being a on a ladder today <laughs> in my cellar. Spongy and Fun Truck. These are all sponsored by Ort Trucking as well as contributions from the Shamrock Club of New Dublin. It costs a lot of money to put on this parade, doesn't it, Leah? It sure does, Melissa, but it's, it's well worth it. This is an amazing parade. And I think the people of New Dublin enjoy seeing it and saying goodbye to winter. Next up, we have the New London ATV Club. The I bet they have fun. They look Cora. like they're having a good time. Our club member, Cora. Their club has been together in New London for three years. They're, they're a nonprofit group, and our goal is to give back to the community that we live in. Very nice. So all of these are members of the New London ATV Club.
all-terrain vehicles, ATV, some nice Irish flags, and it's going to say posters, but they're cloth. How about banners? Very nice. Next up is Fox Communities Credit Union. They have had strong roots right here in New Dublin for over 20 years. Fox Communities Credit Union is here to help you make life happen. And you know what? They helped sponsor the Zor Funsters. They have provided the money for the Zor Funsters who are a wonderful, wonderful volunteer group. Thank you. Look at that carriage that the Funsters have this year. Wow. I wonder what year that was. Well, I think it's, oh, 1902. Flint. It's at Flint, Michigan, I bet. Isn't that a beauty? Leo, wouldn't you and I like to ride in that? That would be a lot of fun, Melissa. Maybe he'll come back and give us a <laughs> ride. Up! Batman! This group looks like they're having a great time. And they're all part of the Zor Funsters. Also sponsored by Fox Communities Credit Union. So the money that they make in this parade goes into their fund to help many, many people. Well, I hear circus music. Trombones. The VFW post 2732 is next in the parade, and the, the back of their Jeep is filled with people that are part of the VFW. This Dodge, Dodge M37 is a three-quarter ton, four-by-four four truck. This vehicle was introduced in 1951, and it was used extensively by the armed forces during the Korean War. This is uh, the Norris Spencer Post. Next up, we have the New London Lions Club. The Lions motto, we serve. They serve with vision screening, large print books, Lions Camp, Highway Cleanup, and more. They're letting everyone know to think spring roses on April 21st. So all you men listening, be sure to get your ladies some roses on April 21st through the New London Lions Club. I've never gotten one of you. No. <laughs> hint, hint. Jerry O'Neill. That's not Jerry. Jerry O'Neill. 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 Look at those kayaks. That looks really nice. My brother David put me in a kayak for my first time, and I didn't tip over or anything. It was so much fun. We were, we were close to Shauna Lake. Good job, Melissa. Maybe we should try that today on the little river, huh? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to call. We've got squad on you. A correction on Jerry O'Neill, it was Randy Cleveland. Sorry, Randy. <laughs> now, what do we have here? Looks like Schmidt's Auto Savage. 
Well, junk is our treasure here at Schmidt's. Oh, look at that beautiful balloon. Uh, rainbow. Just beautiful. Clever idea. I went to school with Sue Schmidt. I think I was a year older than she was. What a nice girl. Next up, we have the Fox River Hurling Club. Come try out the fastest game on grass with Fox River Hurling Club. They are proudly sponsored by OB's Brew House and the Fleischmann's Brewing Company. It sounds yeasty. <laughs> Next up we have Rawhide Youth Services. Yay! Hi Rawhide! Thanks for being in our parade this year. You do a great job with your youngsters out there. Including somebody who takes pills. <laughs> they would like to thank the New London community for its support and partnership. Oh, there's my Irish family. <laughs> Happy birthday, Declan. Hi, sweet lamb. I didn't know that routine. <laughs> you must have taught her that routine. Uh, probably. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this cute little school bus coming by. That is very cute. And you know, they are looking for bus drivers with starting pay better than what I retired at. Whew. We offer uh, paid training and a five hundred dollars sign on bonus. Do they take seventy two year old women? That would be a good job for you, Melissa. You'd be a good bus driver. I'd lay down the law with those kids no matter how short I am. You'd be pretty entertaining for the kids. They may think you're one of the kids. The Hilker family has been a part of the New London Parade forever. And look at this fancy new truck there. Very out. nice. Woo. Boy. Dennis Hilker and his family are happy to bring smiles to the parade. Look at all the smiles in those trucks. Cute. Uh -huh. Years ago when I wasn't so busy, I used to take them soup after they were in the parade. I think it was bean soup. It was bean soup. And uh, do you know why they they only have 239 beans in bean soup? Why is that, Melissa? Because one more bean would make it to 40. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, next up we have the Wet Footers Water Ski Show Team. The Wet Footers are a non-for-profit organization and they perform free shows on Wednesdays and Sunday nights starting at 6 o'clock all summer long on the Wolf River. We've been to their shows and they put on great, great shows. They sure do. Very entertaining. I know some, some of my friends from the New London Hospital that are retired like to go and watch their shows every summer. Oh, here we have uh, some candidates for the New London School Board. Pete Boskus and Kathy Zadek. Both have the training and experience to make success for all students a reality. All students, that's wonderful to hear. Oh, another balloon rainbow. Very pretty. We need more than luck, they say. We need your vote. <laughs> Kathy Zanuck and Pete Baskus. An executive limousine. 
serving all of Wisconsin for all occasions, including airport transportation, weddings, corporate events, nights out, sporting events, and bachelor bachelorette parties. Looks like fun. Oh, who do we have here? A banner for Paper Electric. And Paper Electric is uh, responsible for helping us pay some of our entertainment. The Beja Crazy, Crazy Pops. Pops. Looks like they've got some uh -oh. of the others there. Yes, they do. Uh oh. <laughs> Look at her in jail. <laughs> Too bad for you. <laughs> Look at the group of the Crane Clan. Wow, they have a large group this year. Holy cow, that's, even, that's a lot of cranes. <laughs> even in the, the cold weather, wow, the cranes came through. You know, they like to get together and build their family float, and they're proud that they're part of the New Dublin Parade since the, the beginning. The Crane family has been here since the beginning, many years. Many members of the Crane uh, family have traveled to Ireland to see where their ancestors have come from. I saw my classmate Dave Tenney in that group. His mother is a Crane. And some of them have been over to our sister city, Killaloo. Well, this is an appropriate float. This big, great big tractor, a John Deere, for the FFA and the FFA alumni. They support the School of Agri-Science Department with equipment, scholarship, and also activities of the FFA members. I know that Randy Steingraber in Manila puts on a bluegrass festival in the fall, and all of his profits go to the FFA in Manila. What's next? Beja Shrine Veterans and Patriots. Now this is sponsored by Klein and Hansen Funeral Parlor. And the Shriners have a lot of fun helping kids. Veterans and Patriots Union. Next up, we have the Washington Center Community Cupboard. Donors for this truck include Marilyn Taylor Wolt Cheese Corporation, the New London Lions, New London Utilities, St. Joseph Residence, Cuff Farms, Block Automotive, and the Food Pantry Hours, which are very what much needed are Wednesday from 8 to noon and Wednesday night from 4.30 to 6.30. Next up we have Y100 WNCY. Auto Express. We have Fort Fremont Marine. Specializing in Polaris off-road and snow. Crest pontoons, Moomba, Supra Wake, ski boots, or trophy and flow trailers at our Fremont dealership. And they've got some lively music. Our parade dignitaries are clapping along, enjoying it. It's a nice pontoon boat, but it looks a little burr today. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? And 
this is also part of Fort Marine Fremont. Fort Fremont. Wow. Maybe we'll see them going down the river, the Wolf River, with those Irish flags on this summer. Oh, Melissa. wouldn't that be grand? <laughs> wow, doesn't that look like a fancy one? It's a nice boat. Oh, here comes a little scooter. Hi. Oh, Murphy's. Decorated for St. Patty's Day we are. Celebrating 97 years at Murphy's. Wonderful. Recycling the past and building the future. Boy, you see that truck all over our area. We sure do. Matter of fact, we had some cement work done on the Little Wolf River. Looks like we have Finnegan's Wake coming up, Melissa. Hmm, wonder what that could be. Hmm, watch carefully. You never know what to expect from Finnegan's Wake. We're looking for the hearse, but we see a tow truck back there. This wouldn't be the first time the hearse has broke down, Melissa. I You're believe, right, Leah. I believe it's broke down quite a few times in the past years. Looks like we have a uh, Father Sarna and the widow. Good looking widow she is. Hello, Father Sarna. Top of the morning. Isn't this grand that all these people came to poor Finnegan's funeral? What a wonderful uh, showing today. What happened to the hearse, Father Sarna? Uh, well, <laughs> it was a rough oh, night. Oh, 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 it's not looking good. No, no. We had to hire the Dublin towing to help us out. Who's that hanging out of the windshield, Father Sarna? That's <laughs> what's left of Finnegan. Oh, Finnegan. Yeah, yeah. Poor Finnegan. Boy, oh boy. We've got a few celebrities with us today again. There are, besides Finnegan and our show. Oh boy. Now the tow truck's got trouble. Uh oh, looks like the tow truck is uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, wow. What is happening? Hillary Clinton. <laughs> is that Hillary Clinton? Oh my, my. How, did, how did Hillary get into the parade? Hillary and Bill. Oh, thank you so much for coming to New Dublin. Oh, yeah, give it to him, Roy. He deserves it. Oh, man. They're having an a interesting time out there, Melissa. Wow. Hi, Linda. Linda is with the, the wake today. She was the first bagpiper in our parade, in the very first parade. Thanks, Linda. I'll never forget that. Looks like we have a Clover Real Estate Group specializing in home sales, investing, staging, and design. Nice name for a real estate group. Sure it is. Sure. Very Leaf. nice. Very appropriate. Lucky four leaf clovers. <laughs> and iron iron workers local eight. Are you looking to make a living wage? Union Iron Workers Local 8 is hiring. No experience necessary. We will train you. Starting wage over twenty dollars. They must be connected with Canada. I see they have the it's Canadian. Okay, so they're they're stating that it's an international union.
Next up, we have the Manawa Midwestern Rodeo. It's big, it's wild, and it's western. You know those horses aren't cold at all. They have such thick fur in the winter time. The Manawa Rodeo is sponsored by the Manawa Lions Club. June 29th, 30th, and July 1st. And it's a blast. It is such a good time. We went to the rodeo last year and we had such a good time. The fireworks are Thursday night. Saturday is the parade and the fun run and walk. Ava Johnson is the queen and Ashley Bierman is the princess. The buck of the rodeo. Thanks for being in our parade. Oh my goodness, that's quite a cow. Holy cow! Holy cow! She's <laughs> utterly delightful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, New Dublin, says Quick Trip, for supporting our local Quick Trips. See you next time. You know, that's what they always say when we're leaving the store. Did you ever notice that? See you next time. Yeah, boss. Yeah, boss. Next up, we have the Chain of Lakes Paranormal. Oh, who's in the cage? Little, little spooks and ghosts and crow creatures. It's a pretty um, arch with the Clatus symbol in the middle. Clintonville FFA is utterly lucky. They must have a cow too. Yep, there yep, it is. There's a cow. <laughs> Looks like next up we have Tri-County Overhead Door Service, providing sales, service, and installation on commercial, residential, and industrial doors. have Dawn Millard passing out candy. <laughs> Hi Dawn. Dawn Barrington Millard to be exact. <laughs> wow, we just heard an amazing fact. Dawn and Paul's daughter Aubrey is due to have a baby this week and she's out walking the parade. Good for her. At least the ambulance is close by. There's a big wave from Paul. Our waterfront are carrying a banner and uh, sponsoring Wisconsin Wheelmen. In front of us is the Sons of Norway, a fraternal benefit society which welcomes anyone who's interested in Norwegian culture. We're happy to celebrate St. Patrick's Day with our Irish friends. After all, the Vikings founded Dublin. How true it is. So they have the flag of Norway with the flag of Ireland. Very clever. Look at that little gnome in the front. Our parade dignitaries are all enjoying watching the parade. Hi guys, 
so happy that you are all here and you've done a wonderful job representing us. Next up, we have the May Festival. The May Festival was started in, uh, to honor Abigail Hoyer. We're taking her story and turning it into someone else's miracle. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you, May Festival. Looks like May 12th to the 14th in Memorial Park, they're gonna have live bands, Grand Union, Boogie and the Yo-Yos, and the Spicy Thai Band. Wow. Next up, we have Festival Foods. The mint cart is used for parade and store promotions and is known as the largest shopping cart in Wisconsin. Boy, I'll tell you. Now that looks like fun. That looks like a lot of fun. And I see a lot of festival workers in there. Thanks for being in our parade. Hi, Hi, Donna. Come back and give us a ride. Festival Foods, along with Pluck Automotive, is sponsoring the group that is playing next, Celtic Nation's Pipes and Drums. Pluck Automotive is your locally owned, full service destination for all of your auto sales, as well as collision needs. I remember someone ran into me at the Walmart parking, or Walgreens parking lot. I needed collision help. Celtic Nation's Pipes and Drums. Again, they're sponsored by Festival Foods, Plot Automotive, as well as the Shamrock Club of New Dublin. And they're piping Amazing Grace. Bring your pipes in infinite weather. Great job. One of my favorite parts of the parade was the big pipe. Oh, isn't it? I'm with you, Leah. Here comes a green truck. GFL. Green today, green for life. Keeping New Dublin clean and green. Uh, I think they have an orange mustache on the side of that. Of their Is that truck. Jason? Hey, how's it going? Hi, <laughs> Jason. <Hi. laughs> Is Zeke in there too? <laughs> There's Zeke. Hey, Zeke. <laughs> Thanks for keeping New London clean. Yes, indeed. Zeke is one of my favorite kids. He was in the Murphy's Chowder. That's right, that's right. He's, years. he's quite the little entertainer. Yes, he is. <laughs> Next up, we have A&K Construction. Call for roofing, siding, windows, remodels, and new construction. Give us a call about your projects. And they were right out of New Dublin. More construction is coming right after them in the form of concrete. Johnny Farr Concrete. It's veteran owned and operated. Oh, that's interesting. Specializing in stamped patios and driveways. Mm. Call Johnny Farr for a free estimate. I love to sing those stamped patios. It's beautiful. And they say, Happy St. Patio's Day. <laughs> clever. That's clever. <laughs>
The harder we work, the luckier we get. There you go. Parade is going just great this year. Next up, we have River's Edge Salon. River Edge is celebrating 20 years of business this month. Wow. They're thanking the community for all their continued support. Another balloon rainbow. That was kind of a popular thing this year. have the Dublin Killaloo sign on the, the side of their float, New Dublin and Killaloo. Wonderful. Boy Scout Troop 59. They are hosting an electronics recycling event. Oh, those are always dandy. On Saturday, May 13th, this one will be at the American Legion from 8 to noon. I will be there recycling event. The proceeds help the scouts to attend summer camp. And here's a trailer from the same troop. Troop number 59. Behind them we have the Jolly Giant Stilt Walkers sponsored by the Shamrock Club of New Dublin. Look at them go Melissa. Wow. They aren't even afraid of the wind and cold today. They got the moves. Yeah, check out liveparty.com. Wow, they're rocking. They sure are. is a store that everyone needs to visit once in a while, O'Reilly Auto Parts. Now I hear some musical sounds, Leah. Next up we have the Preble High School Marching Band. And this is sponsored by Northland Electrical and the Shamrock Club of New Dublin. What a great way for the Shamrock Club and Northland Electrical to spend their money on Preble High School, marching band. Just look at what they have brought to our community and they're so beautiful in their Kelly Green outfits. Parade 
distance, nowhere to stop and perform, just as the Preble is doing right now. Oh, that was wonderful. What a great performance. Flippers is Wisconsin's number one pallet liquidation stop. FML Flippers has a variety of merchandise pallets, open to public or wholesale. Yes, that's a pretty popular thing right now, buying a pallet full of surprises. Next up, we have Wapaka County Fairest of the Fair. Jenna Shanick is this is the 22 Wapaka County Fairest of the Fair. They are asking for applications to be the 2023 Fairest of the Fair. Thank you, Jenna. And a new veterinary clinic in New Dublin is the Walker Family Veterinary Hospital. And they've got some representatives with them. Very pretty dogs, all decorated in green colors. They're the newest veterinary hospital located behind Fox Communities. We're excited to be part of this community. Come check us out. Kiss me, I'm Irish. Kiss me, I'm Irish. Smooch a pooch. <laughs> For 25 cents. Smooch a pooch. Oh, boy. Did I just funny. hear someone say smooch a mooch? Everybody, everyone wants a smooch from mooch. Where is he? <laughs> I'm spotting somebody coming up here to. Either be nice or give us a hard time, Leah. I'm not sure which it is yet. If it's Dick Johnson, it's to give us a hard time, Melissa. Yeah, <laughs> He's freezing. Everyone else in, in uh, the whole state is freezing too, dear. Live with it. He's from Florida, Melissa. Yeah. Yeah. He's a Floridian now. Floridian. He's a Floridian. Miss Irish Darboy, USA Pageant of Queens. We love celebrating our, Eric, our Irish heritage and just having fun. What better way to do that than join New Dublin's parade? Miss Darboy. Miss Darboy Rainbows. Nothing like a beautiful Irish rainbow. Oh, double rainbow. Phoenix Mobility Rising. 
Phoenix Mobility Rising creates mobility solutions for the health and well-being of every person in every community. It's quite an undertaking. I hear some very exciting sounds coming. Another band, and it's sponsored by two groups, uh, three groups, Wolf River Savings Bank, Amcor Flexibles, and, Cora, and the Shamrock Club of New Dublin. And guess what musical group it is, Leah? Echoes of Camp Randall. Yes. Thank what a you. way to end our parade. Here they come.
Thank you.